I'm in Paris. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I'm so tired and it's like eight o'clock. I don't know why I'm so tired, but I'm just about to get to my hostel. But I'm not sure if there's gonna be anyone in there or anything. I made it to the hostel. I'm about to go to my room and I'm kind of scared to okay, see if there's uh, people in there. Okay, there was one girl in there, so I could show you the room, but I'm now off to dinner. To you. I mean, I can't really speak to you in the hostel because I'm sharing with um, seven other girls. I think we're still like two beds free. Also, sorry about my voice. I'm so embarrassed. Like any time I try and speak to anyone, I can't speak French, let alone like at all because my voice is so gone. Um, but at the moment, I'm just sitting in a garden. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because like I said, I do not speak French. But I'm just sitting here waiting for my, um, waiting for one o'clock because that's what time I've booked to go to the art gallery I'm going to. So yes, um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. Um, I guess I'll just see what takes my fancy. Maybe do a bit of shopping? Maybe. I'm really liking this area of Paris. The place where my hostel is isn't the nicest, so staying more central. I think is a better plan. on now I think it's like 5 p.m. or something um, but I'm just sat underneath the Eiffel Tower because um, I don't really have anything else planned before dinner and I'm exhausted <laughs> so I just need a little rest and sit down um, and then I'm probably gonna go to dinner in about an hour um, I know I'm going for noodles in France which doesn't really make sense but a lot of French food I can't eat because I'm vegetarian, so there aren't actually that many options for me. Which is why last night I didn't go for French food either. I was looking for bistros and stuff that had veggie options, but the French diet is just a lot of meat and fish, unfortunately. So that is my plan for this evening. I went to the Palais de Tokyo after the... Um, after the exhibit that I'd booked and I was a bit disappointed. <laughs> I'd heard quite good things about it but it wasn't it just wasn't really my sort of art. Um it was I don't want to say too modern but I don't really tend to enjoy that sort of stuff but it was interesting to see anyway because there was a lot there. Okay, that was a massive dilemma. Basically, my noodles were just awful. All they tasted of was coriander, and I'm one of those people that coriander tastes like soap to me. So I tried to send it back, and she was like, oh, do you want anything else? And I was like, oh, do you have any other vegetarian broths? And then she went, oh, we don't have any vegetarian broths at all. I'd already, obviously, ingested it so I was like on the brink of tears and then I had to pay for my meal 
I was so upset, but now I've got a crap, so it's okay. I was really sad because I was looking forward to that dinner, but apparently not. Oh, it's so rainy.